Over one year ago, I played one of the most fun things I've ever played on RuneScape, and that was the Trailblazer League. And now it's kinda back, but under a new name, the Shattered Relics Leagues. And the goal with these leagues is to complete as many tasks as possible, and the more tasks you complete, the more overpowered your account gets. So now, let's begin. At the start of the league, you pick one combat skill you want to go for, and I chose magic. Five points for pickpocketing a man. Look, it's chaos everywhere. I need to go to Lumbridge because my entire strat is based around Lumbridge. Yo, I got my first fragment. Unidentified fragment. Break. You have unlocked clued in fragment. Enemies drop clues consistently. There we go. 10k cash have been obtained. There's like 1,000 people playing leagues right now, and I'm one of the only ones in Varrock. I don't know if this is good or a bad thing. I'm gonna take the fire staff. Oh, here we go. Unlock this. This is a teleporting method. Now we can teleport between Varrock and Caterby. I have decided to unlock Agility as my fourth or fifth skill, it is. Last leagues, it was almost impossible to complete this task, but now I'm pretty much the first one here, so I just get it done instantly. Oh, we got another fragment. I got a skilling fragment. High alchemy is more rewarding. Ooh. All right, we're gonna activate the Lumbridge teleport as well. All right, we got 10 more of these. We're gonna unlock hit points. I regret not doing this earlier. Look at that animation though. Whee! And unlock the desert teleport. Oh, I'm in the land of chaos, Caterby. I don't wanna be here, there's too many people. And I'm afraid of people. 30 magic, beautiful, 25 points earned. And that's the green dragon completed. Is that another system update? Law rooms, oh my god. That's more points whenever I can teleport. Due to issues, blah blah blah. Unfortunately, we are required to perform a rollback to just before the launch of League 3. I just wasted an hour. Great. During every single league, many of us, myself included, have a hard time maintaining a good hygiene. And that is why this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped got the right tools and formulations to maintain good hygiene, specially designed for men. There is a lot to love at Manscaped.com, one of them being the Performance Package 4.0, your all-in-one head-to-toe men's grooming and hygiene kit. We got the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, which is an all-around great trimmer designed with advanced skin safe technology which helps you reduce nicks and cuts on the most sensitive areas of your body. It is cordless and waterproof so you can trim in the shower as well. Besides the trimmer, the Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant for after showers and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray for a quick refresh whenever necessary. And of course, let's not forget the Weed Whacker. And for a limited time, when you buy the Performance Package 4.0 kit, you get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Shaving Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com engineer to get 20% discount plus free international shipping plus two free gifts. The discount is automatically applied at checkout. All right, I'm back in and I did not reset. They fixed it so you didn't have to reset the account. Look at that, I got a skilling fragment. What's this? Marks of Grace Bomb coins. Oh my, that's so good. I need to put that on instantly. If you saw that, 4k cash spawned with the Mark of Grace. This is gonna be a great money maker. All right, look at that. I reached level three, tier number three. And there we go. Uh, we have 31 Sages Renown. I want to unlock a new skill, Prayer. Ooh -wee. Oh yeah, this animation, the home teleport animation is so cool. Time for me to do something very high risk, high reward. I could get PK, but if I don't, it's gonna be worth every single second. All right, I'm probably gonna get a lot of levels from this. From six to 15, 23, 25, 27, 29, 30, and I still have one dragon bone. Oh, that was the last one. 32 prayer from two dragon bones. Oh my God, <laughs> these boosts are amazing. All right, this huge risk of coming to lava dragons might actually pay off. There's only one guy here called Woof. Oh, we got coins, thank you. 37 prayer, beautiful. Protect from magic have been unlocked. Oh, that's my first level 50, 50 magic. Oh my god, this guy just died in front of my eyes. Swiper kill you is dead. And I got 55 magic, which means I can heal for more points. All right, this is the last lava dragon bone. I think this should be enough for overheads. There we go, 43 prayer overhead. This is giving me a lot more points, 25 more points. All right, while I'm here, I'll try to kill this. This boss, where is he? This should be the kill. A lot of points here. Coins, yeah, we got 25 points, beautiful. 
All right, we got some Sage's Renault. We're gonna unlock some stuff. Uh, first of all, I wanna unlock cooking. We're also gonna unlock this quest line, a chance little helper. Apparently you can get a lot of points by doing thieving in the Pyramid Plunder. So we're gonna unlock that. Okay, this is insane. I've just been pretty much casually playing and I'm somehow rank five in league points. I'm doing very well for myself. Okay, this should be some points, I think. Yeah, 25 points, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna unlock another thing, attack. We're gonna unlock the attack skill for 20 points. So now I can actually focus on some quests. All right, I believe this is gonna get me a lot of levels. Let's have a look, five points, 40 attack from level one. I might actually climb the ranks. We now have 905 points. And if we update this list right here, we are now rank two. The goal is rank one. Then I got a good thumbnail. Another big XP quest completed. 52 attack. Hello? Why are you standing on a tree? You see that bug? He was on the tree. The 60 magic. We can now unlock the uh, god cape and our first level 60. One prayer point left. And we completed that. I think I'm getting one of the HK. 25 more points. We broke the 1000 league points mark. I am actually gonna high alt this Sardom staff for now. I'll get it back later. But for now, I kinda want I kinda want nature runes so I can get my magic up even more. Okay, here we go. Full metro. I needed to hop like 500 worlds to get this task completed. My next skill to unlock is gonna be strength. 20 points is gone. Three gnome village have been completed for 91k attack experience. All right, this is another big quest completed. The Grand Three, 63 attack, 52 agility. Waterfall quest completed, we now have 50 strength, 65 attack. This is insane how quickly this is going. So I'm currently holding this uh, Dine and Dash while cooking raw fish. And there's a 10% chance that all this food is sent to my bank. So they are stacking up a bunch of food while getting points up. I completely forgot about this. Pets from previous leagues follow us to the next league and I got a pet Chaos Elemental in the last one. The last thing I want to do this league is obtaining 100% favor in every single core and favor. So I'm gonna unlock core and 3, the quest line, and this is gonna give me 100% favor in all these things. So yeah, 30. There we go. It, and it actually only cost me 20 Sage Renown because I got 10 Sage Renown back from completing all of these things. All right, my friends, I'm gonna take a gamble. Scorpia gives a lot of points if I manage to kill him. All right, this might be the kill. Come on, be the kill. There we go, we, we actually did it. We killed Scorpia. Anything good? Super anti-poison. Oh, we reached tier four. Oh my god, wait, it's only 25 points to kill Scorpia? Thought it was more. All right, we completed two easy caskets. I hope we can get some uniques for some rewards. Mostly harmless, purple sweets. Okay, purple sweets is good because you can eat one and get more points, beautiful. And uh, anything else? Oh my god. I have won Gilinor Games. This is another game of Gilinor Game and I've won the Gilinor Game. Soup, I gotta tell Soup. I got to tell Soup. I actually got a golden apron. So I've collected 30 Sage Renown and I want to unlock Slayer. So that's what I'm doing. The history quiz have been completed. This is gonna get me a few levels. Yeah, 25 Slayer. All right, guys, I'm gonna test something. It's a huge gamble, but it might actually work. We got 100K here, so we can enter the Rev Caves. And this could potentially be a really good money-making method if we actually get some drops. And instantly, two rune warhammer. Oh my god. Within minutes, we got 70k. There is the thing I've been waiting for, bracelet of Ethereum. Wait, that's 25 points. Okay. Okay, we're about to get a lot of points here. 70 magic, 50 points. Another big drop, two rune plate bodies. So, with this money, I'm actually gonna get myself a dragon scimitar. But first, before I can get the disc game, I need to unlock the Monkey Madness quest line. I've been waiting for myself to obtain a dragon weapon so I can just AFK stuff. And look at that disc game, we got some points as well. Uh, <laughs> Earth Warrior Shampoo Scroll, okay. All right, it's time for some magical upgrades. We're gonna buy ourselves Mystic Robe Bottoms. There we go. Look at me, full Mystic. 
We're going to Lava Dragons. So I just realized something. I do have two fragments which works as a set effect, meaning they work together. So if, if we look closely here, there's a small chance that you, see, you saw that, right? 512. There's a small chance this magic hit hits twice. If we look at the fragments right here, these two fragments, Mother's Magic Fossils and Deeper Pockets have a set effect where we got a 30% chance to hit twice using our magic attack. So imagine if you have a Volatile Nightmare Staff and you spec a 70 with it, there's a chance you hit 70 twice. Do you guys understand how insane that is? We will investigate these set effects even further in the next episode. And if you're humble enough to give this video a like, I would appreciate it before you guys leave. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.